Your boy got the full body do rag out. Chop the roof and let you smoke it. Hey y'all, it's Mary. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title, we'll be doing a side part quick weave using Recool Hair. I had some leftover bundles from a hairstyle while back and I just wanted to use them. So hopping right in, I braided my hair in about nine straight bags. They're kind of messy, but it'll do because it's just going under the cap. So I just flip it up in like a bun and I'm going to put my black cap right over that. Something different You must be made for me Patience is never thin In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult all right, so now that my black cap is all the way on, I'm gonna use some Gossipy spray for protection. And I'm also using the Robert Diamond Bond Protective Shield as well on my hair. And then the glue that I use is the Salon Pro Super Hair Bond Glue. And I love both of those things in my hair when I'm doing quick weaves. So here I'm just showing y'all where I'm going to glue the black cap down so it doesn't move. Um, I go behind the leave out of my hair. And then I cut out some ear tabs as well so it can be comfortable behind my ear. This is what it ends up looking like once it's all the way glued around. And then I just use that protective shield that I showed y'all earlier. Ooh. And I go ahead and put that all over my hair like where the black cap is. You're going to see what I do. Also, all of the products that I use in this video are from the Beauty Supply and they're all inexpensive. But I will try to find an online version and link them in the description box. One tip that I do have is when I can't see the back of my head, I just feel around with my pointer finger to see what else I have left. Then I just wait 30 minutes for this to dry. Okay, once the protective shield has completely dry, I just go ahead and cut off my cap where I had placed the glue before. This is what it looks like all cut off. Then I just got to separating my bundles from being double whiffed from before. And I just put it to the back of my head and measure the back to see how long I need that weft to be. And then I'm gonna cut it so it can match the back of my head. Then I just add that same glue onto the track so I can glue it onto my head. And make sure you put a generous amount of glue on there. I'm gonna show you how much I put on there so that it can actually stay in your tracks won't slip. Then I just place it where I originally measured it out and stick it down. Here you just see me doing a light little press just to make sure it's actually glued down and stuck. And I just repeat that process through my whole head. So measure the weft, cut it, place the glue on it, and stick it. When I get to the top of my head, I do it a little bit differently. I just measure it to the middle of my head so I can have that bang look. And here's just the last track placement to show y'all, you know, how it gets at the top. You just want to make sure that curve is right because you don't want to have no glue in your leave out. I recommend taking your time when you get to the top of your head. I know I do because when it's glue in your leave out, it makes it so much harder to lay your hair down. Okay, period. The hardest part is over with. All the tracks is glued down. And then here's me realizing I had glue on my damn face. But here is what it looks like from the back. It looks really good and flat. And that's what we want. Uh, 
For the last step, once it's all glued into my head, I just blend my leave out by straightening it and curling it together. So I'm not going to do much commentary. I show you guys all of the products that I use before I use them. So yeah, just enjoy the vibes and enjoy the rest of the video. It just ain't the same on the phone, no. but everybody's gotta go, don't Here is the finished look. I love it so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one.